All right, so in this example, we're asked to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit. In other words, what is the Thevenin equivalent voltage and the Thevenin resistance seen by the load uh, from terminal AB? In order to do this, first uh, we need to uh, remove the load and then calculate the Thevenin resistance and the Thevenin voltage. So let's calculate the Thevenin resistance. In order to do that, we set both the current and the voltage sources to zero. When you set the current source to zero, the current source basically goes away. And when you set the voltage source to zero, the voltage source act as a short. So that circuit basically reduces down to the following. So in this case, we've removed the load, set the current source to zero. So there's open right here and then set the voltage source to zero so we have a sort right here. So if you, so the Thevenin resistance is basically the resistance seen from the terminal across AB right here. So I see four ohms and then I see two six ohm resistors in series with each other. So, so this basically reduces to 12 ohms and four ohms. And here I see that the four ohm resistance is across AB. The 12 ohm resistor is also one end of 12 is on A and the other end of 12 is on B. So 4 and 12 are in parallel with each other. So using uh, parallel resistance, we can calculate the 7 in resistance uh, of this particular thing as 4 times 12 divided by 4 plus 12, which leads us to 3 ohms. Okay, so that's the 7 in resistance. So that was easy to calculate. To calculate the 7 in voltage, now we go back to this original circuit. All we do is remove this load and uh, remove the load. We basically, let's label this node P and add a reference node right here. So let's add a reference node here. When I add the reference node here, that means this particular node right here will be 12 volts. Arbitrarily assign the current direction. So let's do that. So I've called I1, I2, and I3 in this particular direction. So next thing we'll do is Kirchhoff's current law at node P and then Kirchhoff's current law at node A. So let's start with node P and Kirchhoff's current law at node P says the current going in into node P is equal to I1 and 2 amps. So I1 plus 2 amps is equal to the current going out, which is I2. So we have I1 plus 2 equals I2. I1, the voltage on the on tail end of I1 is uh, 12 volts and the other side is node P so 12 minus VP divided by 6 is I1 plus 2 equals I2 which is VP minus VA divided by 6 so that's what we have here if we rearrange the terms uh, we end up with the following expression and we can simplify this just to write down the following expression so here's our first expression from node P now let's find an expression similar to that based on analysis at node A. So if we do Kirchhoff's current law at node A, we said the current going in is I2 into A, current coming out of A is I3, so I2 equals I3. I2 is VP minus VA divided by 6. I3 is VA minus reference divided by 4, so we can write that as VP minus VA divided by 6 equals VA over 4. Now, collecting all the terms together, we get the following expression. So we have two expressions, two unknowns. Uh, this is fairly easy to solve by hand, but just to get practice, uh, I'm going to show you MATLAB again. So in MATLAB, let's write down these expressions uh, as a matrix. So here it is. So one third of VP, one minus one sixth of VA. And then for the second expression, well, we have one sixth of VP and this quantity right here for VA. Right? And then for y, we have the out, outward side, which is 4 from the first expression and 0 from the second. So that's what I, we have, 4 semicolon 0. And the total voltage is inverse of that particular matrix, which I called R times Y. Or in MATLAB, we can write down R backslash Y. And that gives us 15 and 6. So VP is 15, VA is 6. In this case, the terminal voltage we're looking at is VA B. B is reference, so really the Thevenin voltage is VA. So Thevenin voltage equals VA, and that leaves me to 6 volts. So the Thevenin equivalent circuit has a voltage source of 6 volts and a Thevenin resistance of 3 ohms for this particular circuit.